Hello everyone. Today we will introduce how to operate the Pace Host computer for our household BMS. This is a conventional interface board. There are five interfaces in it. They are the parallel dual 485 interface, the 232 interface specially connected to the host computer, and the 485 and CAN interfaces corresponding to the inverter communication. This video is mainly for host computer communication. Therefore, the interface can be inserted in the 232 position. This line can be wired one to one according to the pin definition provided in the specification. After the other end is connected to the USB port of the computer, it can be operated on the computer. We will provide the host computer to our clients. Open the host computer on the computer. Click the host computer. After installation, there will be a BMS software logo on the desktop. Double click to open the software. Click next directly. And you can use it after the installation is completed. First, look at the real time monitoring function. If it is in parallel, you can click this polling method. When multiple units are used in parallel, we can pull the information of each BMS and pack by address. Click to start monitoring. You can see all BMS data here. When using a single unit, you can turn off polling. Then it will display the information of a single BMS and pack. Because there is only one pack when using a single unit. So, there is only one address and it is unique. It will display all the parameters in a single BMS, including total voltage, current, SOC, SOH, remaining capacity, number of cycles, single unit voltage, temperature data, and other basic battery information. Regarding the system status here, blue represents the current status is open, white represents the current status is closed. About the alarm, protection, and fault status, if the corresponding alarm, protection, fault and other conditions are triggered, the corresponding prompt will be displayed here. If the corresponding conditions are not triggered, it will show no. The second step is to see the parallel monitoring function. Click to open the display monitoring, then save to database. An operation window will pop up to export the data file. At this time, you can save the data file as a local file and name it. If you need to read or set the parameters, you need to switch back to the real-time monitoring page and enter the host computer password. The host computer password is generally defaulted to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then click the parameter settings page. Read or set the parameters of all options on this page. When you have set a certain parameter, you can click to read it again to ensure that the modified parameter has been set successfully. The setting and the reading and the writing of basic parameters can be operated here. Next, click the system settings page. Here you can calibrate the voltage and the current. Our BMS has been calibrated before leaving the factory. Normally, customers do not need to perform calibration operations unless the current is inaccurate. The most used function on the system settings page is the protocol switching function. Because there are various PCS on the market, each PCS uses a different protocol. We can click read to confirm the default protocol. From the reading results, the default CAN protocol and 485 protocol of the current project are both pylon. If you want to switch to another inverter protocol, you can click here. For example, if you need to match the growth protocol, you can click the growth protocol and then click write. At this time, it will show that the operation is successful. Read and write again. If the corresponding protocol is displayed, it means that the switch has been successful. Similarly, the 485 protocol switch is similar to the above operation. After opening, the supported protocols will pop up. What is displayed here are the protocols supported by this BMS or this project. Complete this step. Read it again to confirm whether the writing is successful. This means that the writing is successful. This position represents the software version and the project number. You can see the factory SN code of this BMS from here. This is the pack information. Pack information is usually written here. This is usually edited by the pack manufacturer to write its own SN code. There is also a language switching function here. There is the remaining capacity. Generally, you only need to modify this design capacity. Because the remaining capacity and full charge capacity are learned through charge and discharge cycles, be set only when the battery cell capacity changes. For example, if a 200R battery cell is used, but the written design capacity is 100R, 
In this case, it cannot be learned. It is necessary to ensure that the design capacity and the actual capacity of the battery are within 10% difference before learning can be successful. Generally speaking, it is not recommended for customers to set it by themselves. You can communicate with our engineers in advance about the actual capacity of the battery cell. Finally, here is the storage information page. It is used to read the historical records stored in the BMS. Generally, fault information, alarm information, protection information will be directly stored in the BMS when there are some abnormal phenomena that need to be investigated or the cause of the fault needs to be analyzed. The relevant information records are needed. You can read and save them from here. Click Export Record to create a table. Just click the operation to export. Find the corresponding information you exported. And you can see the corresponding records. The above is the operation introduction of Pace Host Computer for our household BMS. If you still have questions, please consult our engineers in detail. Thank you.